Modern Combat Battle Reports. Today we come to you from Historicon. That's the game we'll be playing today, and it will be Germans versus Americans. I don't actually know the players, I just asked them if I could shoot on their wonderful table, and they gave me permission. You'll see a lot of numbers on the table. These are the objectives for this particular scenario. So the American player starts by bringing on some scout vehicles. Looks like they're armored jeeps of some sort. And now he's going to bring an independent unit up on his left flank behind a building. I bet that's a spotter. And his AOP plane is coming in. Now the Germans bring in some infantry, hiding them behind some uh, shrubbery and trees there. They're starting off rather bunched up, but that's going to happen when you have a large group coming in from the end of the table. And now the Americans bring on their anti-tank guns on the edge. Or is that... No, I, that's probably artillery. Sorry about that. My mistake. And it looks like they're bringing in some infantry as well. Although they're all so hidden in the trees there, sometimes it's hard to tell what side we're on here. But I believe because uh, the Americans were on my right in this game, it looks like that's Americans coming in behind some trees. So this is the way it looks at the end of turn one. The Germans on the left with their infantry coming in and the Americans with their recon and some infantry and artillery over on the right. And now the Americans shift over to the left with those armored jeeps or whatever they are, their recon essentially. And some other recon moves up. Apparently they are two separate units because they separate and one of those units pushes forward a little bit to guard against the uh, German infantry that's coming up. The AOP flies forward, gets over that German infantry to uh, spot for them. And the artillery is going to come down on one of those big bunches. Oh, and it is a pounding! That artillery has come down and wiped out almost that entire unit. What's left of them is now pinned down. Oh, and with a platoon morale check already, the remainder of that platoon runs off the table. That is one platoon already gone for the Germans. This does not look good for them. And to make up for their losses, the Germans come in with some Stugs in the center and some Panthers on the flank. And on the other flank, they are bringing in some anti-aircraft, probably to get rid of that pesky AOP. And on their far right, they're going to bring in another Panther and some infantry. These Germans are really going to try to make up for that loss. Now with the cover of an anti-aircraft gun, the infantry is going to push forward through that brush. And they're going to bring in some more infantry, probably some reinforcements. The Americans now have brought in some armor support. I only see one tank so far, which won't be anywhere near enough against those Panthers. That spotter or sniper, whatever he is, goes into the bell tower. And the infantry pushes forward. That lone tank is moving up. Uh, he's going to try checking around the different places to try to avoid those Panthers. And now they're bringing in, uh, that's probably the anti-tank guns. Oh, and the big guns, probably a firefly in there. Yeah, move over scout cars. The Shermans are in town. The Sherman tanks are going to take position around the church. Probably do a little worshipping. I certainly would be if I was facing Panthers. And they're bringing in more infantry from the back. And man, are they ever bringing in more infantry in the back. Well, that's one thing you can count on with the Americans. They will have a lot of troops. The AOP is going to fly over the Panthers. And the scout cars are going to push forward on the left, getting themselves positioned at the edge of the brush. While the other scout cars are moving around the right side of the church. More into the center of the board. The Germans bring on yet even more infantry reinforcements. I'm not quite sure what the point value is on this game, but it's got to be quite a bit. They're going to get inside the building complex. And now the scout cars are in position to fire on the German infantry. They let loose on them with five hits. That will pin them down. And it will kill one of them. Meanwhile, artillery coming down on the Panthers takes out one of them as well. The American tanks are taking shots over the graveyard at the Panthers. And it looks like they get no hits, which is a bad thing because when you tick off a panther, you want to kill it. The panthers hear him firing and move right on up to that brush with their long guns leaning over it. These other panthers pick up their objective and push forward towards the center. Even though he got hit with artillery, he's keeping him somewhat bunched together, which I think he's doing for more firepower. However, he is going to get hit more often. 
and the infantry consolidates inside of that building complex and the Stugs edge forward keeping cover as they go they have landed on another objective which will give them another point the Panthers open fire and take out one of the Shermans and on the other flank they open fire and take out one over there as well the Stugs in the center fire at their Shermans and cause one of them to bail out the anti-aircraft gun fires on the scout cars manages to make one of them bail out scratch that make three of them bail out the Panthers then get their stern move and push forward just a little bit more and this is where we are at this point in the game the Americans push forward and took position over here on the bottom of the screen which is the American left a great artillery barrage at the beginning managed to slow down the German advance which gave the Americans the advantage over here some of the German infantry on the table is now pinned is slowed it down even more in the center both sides are locked about equidistance and on the top the American right and German left the Panthers have come in just about unopposed and are sweeping forward so what you've got is almost like a twisting wheel with a spoke in the middle where both of them are locked in combat the American left pushed forward and the Germans back on their heels and the German left pushed forward with the Americans pulled back a little ways it's already pretty interesting the American scout vehicles remount and shift over towards their right some of their tanks on the right side shift over a bit they're gonna have to get close and on the flank of those Panthers if they want to hope to penetrate their armor the American infantry really stacks into that building there there must be one man on top of another and the infantry pushes up on their right side these are the American players as you can see one of them is a fearless veteran and the other one is a reluctant conscript in the center the infantry and the anti-tank guns are setting up to defend and on the left the American tanks are getting themselves into position behind the church's wall the scout cars fired the Stug. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a Hetzer. I've been m misnaming it this whole time. Well, whatever it is, apparently it has light enough armor that they're able to get through its side armor and cause it to bail. And by the way, if I'm wrong about those tanks, you just let me know in the comments. The artillery then is let loose on the Panthers, but don't manage to do any damage. The Hetzers all remount and come back for revenge on those recon vehicles. They're going to remind them who's larger and the Panthers push up to the shrubs on the side of the road their infantry meanwhile runs up to the flank of those scout vehicles and the Panthers on the right flank move up to the graveyard wall trying to get a shot on those Shermans they're saying hey you can be buried here the Panthers open fire on the Shermans and take one of them out the Panthers on their right flank open fire on the Shermans trying to hide and they cause him to bail they had to destroy one of the scout vehicles and bail another out. Oh, sorry, that was the infantry. Now it's the Hetzers. Destroying another one and bailing another one out. And now the infantry comes in for an assault. In the assault, the defensive fire takes out one, two infantry stands and stops it from continuing. They are forced to pull back and they're pinned down. The American infantry now pushes forward to the central buildings, stacking themselves inside there. Let me just stand on you. Oh, I'll just get on your head. Okay, I'm going to just stand on your head there. There we go. And their anti-tank gun pushes forward down the road. The recon vehicles, sorry I keep switching between scout vehicles and recon vehicles, but they are shifting over to their right to keep on trying to get flank shots on those Hetzers. Oh, and it looks like an American tank hunter is now making an appearance near the church. Oh, nope, that's, that's still a Sherman with a long gun. And the player's trying to figure out what to do with it. He's going to scoot over to the next building. At least have some cover. It doesn't look like they have a shot, though, because their recon vehicles are in the way. Well, whoever shot at it, one Hetzer is now down. I imagine a whole lot of shots going into there, and all of a sudden you just see that tank burning. Now the artillery lets loose on some Panthers and manages to bail two of them out that may just save the Sherman tanks for a little while the Panthers on the other side move in to get another kill and these are your German players they're trying to figure out what to do with what they have several of their units did not remount they're gonna pull their Hetzers back because they're tired of getting flanked 
And the one remaining panther on the right flank is going to try to take its shot. And the panthers on the left flank got a good angle and took out the other Sherman over there. That's two burning Shermans on the American right flank. It looks like the Panthers now get in on the action of taking out some recon vehicles and they blow up one more. And now it's time for the anti-aircraft guns to get into the action. And they take out two more recon vehicles. Bailing out a third. Nope, make that three recon vehicles. And now that those two Shermans are taken out, the infantry that's a little further over to the left is going to be able to shift over to the right, or center. And somehow the remaining scout cars do not run and they shift over towards the infantry. The anti-tank guns, meanwhile, on the right are getting set up to fight the Panthers that are coming in from that angle. And the American infantry keeps trudging relentlessly forward into the center buildings. And now the Shermans come rushing out from the church. They are charging after those Panthers. This looks just absolutely crazy to me. But two of them are bailed out and so they might just do this. I suppose the time is now or never for that. They fire and hit and cause the third one to bail. And they cause the one behind the bushes to bail. It's a lot of empty tanks, but they still have not destroyed any. The recon machine guns open up on the Germans and are just slaughtering them left and right. Look at that, four gone. The rest of them pinned and the German center infantry disintegrates. And back to those Panthers, one of them is destroyed. And a second one is destroyed. Those Germans are just ripping through those Panthers. I did not expect this. Oh wait, wait, I'm being informed that the second one was just being hit with smoke. And the infantry in the center retreats. That is a second infantry platoon of the Germans that has retreated from this board from heavy fire. And now the artillery opens up on those Panthers on the American right flank. They hit and cause one of them to bail. This is the board at the end of that extraordinary American turn. On their left flank, the Shermans have come out of hiding and are rushing through the Panthers, destroying them everywhere they see them, throwing smoke on them, all kinds of chaos. In the center, the recon continues to be bold, came out and took out yet another German infantry platoon. And on the right, they're slowing the advance of the Panthers through their artillery. This was truly the turn of the Americans. And now the Germans come back at them. The Panther that was in smoke moves around the flank of the Shermans, its barrel is so long, it almost doesn't need to shoot. It's already penetrating straight through the Sherman. It could probably just stab both of them. But apparently it was just resting its barrel across one and firing at the other one because the further Sherman is blown to bits. And the crew in the first one is so scared by that they have jumped out of their tank. They are bailed out. The Panthers on the left flank open up on the infantry and take out one of them. And I don't mean out to dinner. The Hetzers move back a little bit so they don't get another flank shot on them. And the crew of that Sherman get back into their tank. They will not be outdone. He's going to swing around the Panther now. And he's supported by another long barrel Sherman straddling the church wall. And yet another short barreled Sherman that comes around the flank of that Panther. And despite the good shots, they still only bail him. And then the recon vehicles with another bold move racing up the center there, capturing another objective. And with that, the Americans have captured all the objectives they needed. This game is done with an American victory. The Germans may have things still on the table, but the Americans have caused enough damage and picked up enough objectives that this round goes to them. Well, that was sure an exciting game with a great looking board and great figures. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to watch each week, subscribe to our videos, and happy gaming everybody!